So, Mike, let me get this straight. The show is only on pay-per-view, right? Well, not exactly. What do you mean, not exactly? Well, nobody gets paid, and we really don't have any viewers. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> What's happening? It's a cold opening by now. The uh, theme should have kicked in. Just keep laughing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Yes, has been called the ninth wonder of the world, and you can see all of her this month in Playboy magazine. Please welcome China. Congratulations, I had no idea you were the ninth wonder of the world. See that? Yeah. And I laugh heartily at your jokes, too. So. Oh, thank you very much. That, of course, alone would make you the ninth wonder of the world. <laughs> yeah. What uh, What exactly is the eighth wonder of the world? I have no idea. I know what the seventh is. It's Niagara Falls. Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant yes. was the eighth wonder of the world. <laughs> well, you, you've got to be flattered. You're Well, gosh, you're probably like the... 10th, 11th, and the 12th. Oh. Hey. Can't tell you how many times in my life I've been the 10th, 11th, and the 12th. <laughs> Thank you. Now, uh, you were one of the first female wrestlers to actually uh, fight men on a level playing field in that uh, ring. Uh, now, how did, how did the men respond to that? How did they treat you? When you first came oh, the they like it a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it, you know, it was something obviously that was very new at first, right. and I think quite um, unacceptable to most of them. And now they really, you know, I think they dig it, and the people dig it, and um, yeah. you know, it's become a very accepted, credible thing. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been uh, injured by a man, hurt by a man? Only my feelings, Mike. Right. <laughs> I'm not no, talking about I said he'd call the next day and didn't I? I'm referring no, to I the mean, ring. No, I mean, physically, I could still whoop most of them. Yeah. I mean, come yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> that is, uh... Look at him over there smiling at me, going, uh-huh. You gonna take me on? <laughs> no, I... no, no, look how frightened he is. Although, I read that you can bench press 365 pounds. I could at one time. That's amazing. One time. Amazing. 366. <laughs> is it a small world? It is, Mike, it is. Uh, you'll get there. <laughs> However, did you uh, work up to 300? I, I, I've never, I don't know many, many men, and I've never met a woman who could bench press 365 pounds. How did you start? Well, I was training for, for strength at that time, uh -huh. so, um, and I just really thrived. I mean, every day that I could put on a couple more pounds, I just thought right. that it was, you know, sort of going to see exactly how far I could go and, and uh, until I <laughs> blew out my shoulder and, you know, a gasket doing it, I decided that right. that was good. Yeah, so now I should cut stop down there. But, uh, you know, it, it's amazing to me because you are so uh, feminine looking. Yes. That you could bench press that kind of weight. So it's amazing to me because I, uh, I pride myself on the research I do for this show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, in, in uh, glancing and uh, studying yes. this week, I, I, uh, I was quite uh, shocked, actually, that uh, someone as uh, feminine as yourself could lift that kind of weight. Well, I think you're going to find that there are um, a lot of very feminine women out there that are lifting a lot of weight, and I think that the guys in the world are in for a lot of trouble very soon. Mm -hmm. So do you It's think all part of a big plan. So do you, 
Do you think that much like Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds, eventually you'll all turn on us? Well, I think it's, it's more like a, a China globalization process where all the women are going to work out, ladies, and then we're going to have all the men do our laundry, cook. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, we're still better cooked. Sounds uh, sounds to me like my mother and my wife were way ahead of their time. <laughs> uh, I, I was reading in the uh, interview on the back that you have a favorite athlete, and your choice rather surprised me. It's uh, Mike Tyson. Yes, it is. They didn't. Uh, they didn't delve into the reasons why. Why would Mike well, Tyson be your favorite athlete? I like Mike because I think he's just, you know, a little pit pitbull, and he's got personality. Yes, and he's I got think, a lot of personality. You know, um, <laughs> he sure does. But I mean, quite I the ear collection too. <laughs> yeah. no, I don't think boxing would even be as prevalent as it is today if it weren't for right. him. And, and uh, have you ever met him? Yes, I have. And I have. Was he, he was nice? on uh, one of our. Um, WrestleMania's one time. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. So, would you say that Mike Tyson is misunderstood? Oh, no. I didn't well, say that. Because <laughs> I've never understood a word that came out of his mouth, really. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> misunderstood that way. <laughs> now, uh, what? this is your new uh, workout tape, China Fitness. Yes. China, China Fitness. Fitness. And uh, this is uh, rather controversial, I think. It's a, it's a tough, tough workout you go through. How did this come about? It's a very tough workout, but I think, you know, before I was ever um, a World Wrestling Federation superstar, r working out was very much a part of my life. Mm -hmm. And um, it's something that I've always wanted to do. I'm very thrilled to be able to do it through our company, the WWF. But, um, you know, I want people to not be intimidated by weights. I don't consider myself to be a bodybuilder. I consider myself to, um, you know, that I've taken weights and sculpted my body the way I want to look, and I right. use it for other things, such as wrestling and and I'm an athlete, and um, I don't want women especially to be intimidated by weights because it's a gift to be able to, you know, have something that you can make your body look however you want it to look. And um, you shouldn't be afraid of it. You should use it to your advantage. Could a man work out to this tape? Absolutely. Right. Well, when I did the, um, when I was creating the program for this, I took uh, the cat, Kitty, who had never worked out a day in her life, and I also took Billy Gunn, and I put different weights in their hands and ran them through the program, and I smoked them both. Mm -hmm. So you can see one end to the other, it really, it works. Yeah. So it's, everybody can do it. Now, uh, I, I have to ask Including you. Including you. Oh, I understand. Because I understand that you're going to run home and... I, I think I covered that when I said, could a man work out to the tape? <laughs> <laughs> now, what prompted you to pose uh, nude for Playboy, just out of curiosity? I love to get naked, Mike. <laughs> oh. No, I just said that to get everybody going. But um, I think it does make a very powerful statement. I think that... I have been following you all over the United States and Canada, and every single time I find you, you're out here promoting this kind of garbage. Yeah! Oh, yeah, Val? Yeah, China. Don't you understand that you are corrupting the minds of Canadians right now? Don't you understand that? Well, maybe you'd like to go, huh? Maybe I would like to go. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Come on, let's Don't go. Don't touch me. I'll keep touching. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't say what I say. Don't say what I say. You're a jerk. You're a jerk. You're an idiot. No, you're an idiot. Yeah, you're a poopy pants. Don't pant. say a damn word. <laughs> See, and then we make up. <laughs> for, uh, for those of you who are just tuning in, this is not Jerry Springer. <laughs>